Hey, this is Tweet, and you're watching Where You Been. After the second album, I really had to take a step back and get my spiritual life together. So that's what I did first to prepare myself for what's happening now. But I was doing music and um, I was signed to a couple of labels. I put out an EP like two years ago and music before that, a, little, a few little cuts. But I've been just maintaining, you know. Charlene drops January 22nd, 2016. And I'm excited. Um, at first it was out of sight, out of mind. You know, I'm thinking people probably won't remember. I'm gonna have to work extra, extra hard to, you know, get people to say, who, you know, ask or find, know who I am. But the response from the Won't Hurt Me new single and just the anticipation of a new album, people are just blowing everything up from my Twitter, Facebook, just my cell phone. It's just like, oh my God, we're so glad you're back. So I'm excited to be able to present again some music to the world. It's the same, I'm the same tweet. You're still gonna get uh, the in your face lyrics. You'll know what I've been through. I'm singing about love again. It's not as risque as some of the songs from like Southern Humberberry, like Oops or Call Me. But um, the only difference is I think vocally I've matured. You know, I'm kind of secure in who I am as an artist. And if I want to scream and squall, that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I'm doing on this album. You know, I'm just being me. And, and it's, you'll hear influences of my earlier years, you know, before I was tweet, what kind of music I was into or what inspired me. That's what Charlene is about. I wrote every, every song but one, and then Missy wrote one. So I did collaborate with Mick, my girl Missy on one record, so. It's the same, I know we had, it's been a, a while, but it was just like it was yesterday once we got back in the studio and um, did what we do best. I think we have a, a great combination, you know, what, when we come together it's just great, you know, musically, so. It was am amazing, I'm always learning. Like every time I'm with Missy, I'm always like, what can I learn next? Because she's such a genius at what she does, so yeah. It was great from the beginning of my career until the, you know, till I left. It's, it was Mona Scott and Violet. I miss it. We're like a family. So, and we still um, see each other. I actually sung at her. Um, she, they re did their vows over her and her, her husband, Sean. So I sung at that, uh, the thing in New Orleans. Some days I just want to kick myself um, because I remember the conversation Mona and I had about uh, the word tweet and we did get it copywritten for like music wise and you know no one can do the music and then I remember her saying we'll get the other we'll worry about it later and that later turned into me wanting to just kick myself but it's all right you know what is for me will be for me so I'm not tripping yeah actually I was um, in the original cast for the first season of R&B Divas but I decided to record an album then, you know, cause I, you know, I had the opportunity to record or film and I was like, nah, I'm gonna go record. Music was more important. And it was in the early stages, so it wasn't nothing definite at the time. You know, we were talking about it, we did our little clips and stuff, but um, I decided to go this way. But I, I, I'm up to it, as long as it's in a positive light, any, you know, any kind of reality and the platform I would use for the music. I want to. I really do. I would love to, but I want to do it right. You know, I don't want to be a singer trying to act. You know, I would rather go and do some classes and if it's not natural, you know, just do it justice because I wouldn't, you know, somebody that's not a singer, you know, I would want them to get the training before they jump into the field. You know what I mean? So I would want to do that first. Really early uh, and I, I told her no. I was like, this is not. I, I don't want you to have to go through what I went through, so let's try uh, something else first. See if you, but singing is what she loves to do and she kind of um, has it naturally, so I wouldn't deprive her, uh, you know, wanting to do that. So, yeah, help run her out, do it. She's an inspirational artist. She, she don't like to say gospel. She wants to inspire through her music, so. Oh, you, no. I don't think she will, you know, we have two different tastes. You know, I would help her, but I don't think together, we sing great together, but I don't think she would go, for, she wouldn't go for that. I would love to, but she wouldn't. 